Hi, I'm Eric Wong. I'm here at IDF with uh, Jason Slaughter. Uh, Jason, we're here in your booth. Uh, tell us about your video compression technology. Sure. We're showing DisplayLink's adaptive compression technology here. So what we do is we add, easily add multiple monitors over USB. And what we do is take the graphics and video from the PC, compress it if necessary, send it out across USB or super speed USB, decode it in our chip, and turn it back into video and graphics for the monitor or TV. So you use compression. What? Uh, why do you use compression? Why not uncompressed video? Super speed USB is uh, finally fast enough to send a single 1080p video uncompressed. But that's only one 1080p. If you want to do higher resolutions or multiple monitors or more videos, you need compression. But more realistically, what we find is when you're using your PC, even with super speed USB, you're, you're going to be doing multiple things. You're going to be doing hard drive transfers, Ethernet transfers. You're going to be using that USB bus for all sorts of different things. And so in order to keep a smooth video and a smooth experience on your, your graphics and keep the stutters and things like that away, then you'll need to use compression sometimes. So in other words, if I'm at my PC and I'm, I'm, I'm using the USB for video and then I plug in my iPhone and mm -hmm. I want to transfer a bunch of uh, Christina Aguilera videos across, sure. uh, the, the, the uh, compression lets me do that without any interruption to my video. Right. So the DisplayLink Adaptive Compression will only compress as much as it needs to at that time. So it's always looking at the, the CPU, the GPU, the bandwidth, and it, and it changes the compression ratios from uncompressed all the way down to heavily compressed. We use your spare CPU and GPU cycles to do that compression in the background, and then we send it out across USB or super speed USB and keep smooth full screen video and smooth graphics, low latency. You know, I mean, you don't want to have starts and stops when you're moving windows around and using your applications, and that's why it's important to have the adaptive compression always looking behind the scenes to keep a smooth experience. So it's two parts it's adaptive and it's compression. It's sure. two parts together. Great. Jason, thanks for your time again. Thank you. Thanks for watching.